welcome to bsc statistics students now in this lesson i explain some basic concepts of network scheduling what is meant by network scheduling the network scheduling is a one kind of technique for planning scheduling and controlling the projects large projects what is meant by a project the project is nothing but it is defined as a combination of several interrelated activities there are many number of activities uh, which involves in this particular in the project and which are to be executed in in a particular order and uh, finally the total task it is to be completed with minimum possible time hence uh, the various activities are going to be executed in a logical sequence that is one particular order for example if we want to construct uh, a five floor building then logically the first of all you have to construct the first floor second and then and then second floor and then third floor etc like so in a logical order one after another kind of work is going to be uh, is going to be executed and so that the project is to be finished completed in a particular specific time or uh, the minimum time minimum duration is going to be uh, obtained in a minimum time it is going to be finished completed so uh, what are the fields uh, uh, the network scheduling is going to be applied this technique usually is applied in the fields of construction maintenance purchasing research and development fabrication computer system installation etc this is what uh, uh, the definition of network scheduling now there are two particular basic concepts basic techniques uh, in the network scheduling one critical path method cpm called cpm second one project evaluation and review technique pert pert so these are the two important techniques uh, which we use uh, in the uh, network scheduling for planning scheduling and controlling the projects right so this is what the concept of basic concept of network scheduling now in this in which uh, what is network and i'll i i tell you some definition important definitions what is network important terms terminology what is meant by a network network is a simple graphical representation of various operations of a project and uh, it is always connected with uh, act activities uh, and events which must be completed to reach the end objective of the project that is a network network simply is a graphical representation which represents various operations of the project now we say what is meant by an activity activity is a task or an individual op operation and uh, which is going to be utilized uh, some resources uh, which has an end and a beginning and and a beginning that is it lies in between two events i'll define events an activity is uh, uh, denoted by is represented by an arrow mark okay and uh, it this indicates uh, the direction of the direction and the progress of the project in which way and what is the direction and which particular way the project is running uh, it indicates that is called activity an activity which we have and three kinds of activities uh, in our uh, basic definition one producer activity an activity which must be completed prior to the start of another activity is called producer activity any kind of activity which uh, must be completed prior to starting uh, start of another particular activity before starting another particular activity this one such activity is 
uh, is completed that is called predecessor activity and successor activity an activity which can be started after one or more other activities are completed is known as successor activity after completion of the activities uh, a particular activity is going to be started that activity is called successor activity dummy activity an activity which does not consume any resource and a time which uh, uh, does not involve any kind of resources any uh, does not uh, consume any time which is known as dummy activity it is plotted by dotted lines uh, we have drawn an arrow mark it is going to be drawn dark line and uh, it is going to be plotted on dotted lines and then uh, one more important definition event an event represents uh, the beginning of an activity or completion of an act some activities these are the two particular important uh, uh, points of the representing the event event is nothing but it's a representation of beginning of an activity and completion of an activity and also beginning of new activities i'll explain here see this is the beginning of an activity for example event is represented by a circle event is represented by a circle okay these are events so this is called predecessor activity successor activity after that after completion of this this is going to be started this is started and uh, uh, this is an activity here to here that is if one event to another event if two events are joined then you will get an, uh, an, an activity is going to be represented by this particular arrow mark you see this is a dummy activity from one activity to another one event to another event if it uh, if it needs then dummy activity is going to be uh, created okay it is represented by dotted lines so this is activity it is represented with uh, narrow mark uh, and this is uh, represented by narrow mark it is also represented by narrow mark and this is dummy activity it is represented by dotted lines and uh, you see here uh, the event uh, the beginning of this particular uh, uh event is going to be represented beginning of the activity is, is going to be represented here and ending of an activity is re also represented by the event and beginning of new ones new activities these are new activities this is only one beginning there is no other beginning for this that is why it is called a start beginning this is very first start uh, of an activity and completion of an activity ending of an activity and now new beginning new activities beginning of new activities represented by like this hence uh, event is event can be represented beginning um, of an activity and uh, completion of an activity and beginning of new activities that the three kinds uh, uh, we can represent the event anyhow event is represented by circle and uh, activity is represented by the uh, arrow mark hope you understand these are some particular important uh, uh, definitions of network scheduling thank you thank you so much